Hey guys, welcome back to Awada Popcorn. My name is Stephanie. Thank you all for clicking on this video. Now if you're someone who enjoys talking about film, then how about clicking that subscribe button. So June has come to an end and it is time to rank the 10 movies that I saw this month. Now, as always, anything that I did review within the month will be in the description box down below. I think I only did like four four movies this month, I think, that I uh, reviewed. I think so. So we do have a lot coming on this 4th of July weekend. So let's go ahead and get on with this video. Our first will be one of Netflix's films, Awake, and it stars Gina Rodriguez. So this movie actually had a pretty cool concept after like this mysterious global hysteria catastrophe deal that happens that just kind of wipes out all the electronics and also the ability for humanity to sleep we're trying to figure out why it happened what caused it how long do we have to survive because obviously we cannot go without sleep what happens once you don't sleep for so so long the um hallucinations the mood swings the panic the oh my god we're about to sacrifice this child but the way it was ex executed in this particular movie just wasn't all that great with that i'm just gonna put it in the okay tier i didn't quite find it absolutely terrible or, or anything like that one of the things about this movie is i feel like they immediately went into that oh my god i'm about to lose my freaking mind without having sleep i really don't know how much time really passed it didn't officially put on there like you know day one or feel like maybe we should have done day one and then maybe like day three because i feel like day two you're still i mean you're obviously tired but as far as the way that some of these people were especially these church people like i said ready to like sacrifice people i feel like that was too soon for for you to have got to that point i feel like that point should have been maybe like day five of not being able to sleep day seven but just kind of like that quickly i mean it just i mean who, who knows right i mean in this world apparently that's how it happens but yeah i mean it was just pretty really pr poorly executed we're gonna move on to another netflix movie i think it was netflix movie um good on paper it is mostly based on a true story honestly let me just go ahead and put it under you try <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the movie too well, you guys. I just saw it too, like a week ago. This is what the synopsis says. After years of putting her career ahead of love, stand-up comic Andrea Singer stumbles upon the perfect guy. On paper, Dennis checks all the boxes, but Andrea's friend Margaret is convinced he's not all he appears to be. Right away, I was like, this is shady. Mother, do not trust him. He needs to be kicked to the curb. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't trust him from the beginning. Honestly, I went into this movie knowing absolutely nothing about it. So it's not like you can say, what's well, because you knew because of the trailer. So basically, she's doing her stand-up and telling the audience her story of what happened with Dennis. I really wasn't here for it. I didn't like any about it there's other better romantic comedy movies on netflix and i would not recommend this one so moving on to in the heights this is one of those that had the hbo max theatrical releases so this is based off of a stage play a uh, lin Miranda was um a writer and he helped with the music i do love musicals but unfortunately this one does fall a little bit short for me not too too short you guys it's not like in the wild like i would say it's probably with most um i do think it is a really good um, movie it does have a lot of great songs love the choreography uh, we are basically in Washington Heights we're with this community and just kind of what the community what the people what everything just means to everybody of course if you're not into musicals then of course you just skip this one but if you are into musicals it is a really fun one and it does look beautifully it is directed very wonderfully the song the dialogue everything about it the acting i really really enjoyed um the overall um movie it just really didn't grab me as much as i thought i really 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 thought that i was gonna truly truly love the movie we're gonna go ahead and move on to disney pixar's luca this one you can currently stream on a disney plus 
thankfully you do not have to pay $30 for this movie now I know I said it is for the whole family but I feel like it does gravitate a little bit more for the children I know I don't have my four kids row here but I still kind of feel like everybody in the family would still enjoy it it is absolutely stunning to look at it is aesthetically very very pleasing the goal in life for these two kids is to win this contest to get this Vespa because you know with this Vespa you can like travel the world you can do everything you can be anything you want and you know when you're with your kids you know you kind of have those little shorter goals of if I have this it's gonna make me just so happy so it's just like the simple things in life but it does leave a lot of unanswered questions kind of like what exactly causes these sea creatures to become humans like what kind of magic causes that and uh, some things that the parents do it's kind of funny because it's like you're trying to hide but then you're trying to out your kid of being a sea creature and it's kind of what started the whole sea creature against humans i really was expecting more this was one of my anticipated movies of the year it did unfortunately fall short for me but overall i did find it to be enjoyable we're going to move on to another netflix movie uh fatherhood this does star kevin hart and this one surprisingly was really really good it is more of a dramatic role for him um he's not really too comical here which i really really love we do have his friend in the movie who does give you that uh comical relief and it works at times but then at the same time i'm like oh we could have kind of done without it yeah, i do still think it is just a good movie moving on to another netflix movie this is going to be liam neeson's the ice road he plays a truck driver who has to drive these trucks um across this very very dangerous icy road um literally it's like it's like a man-made like ice road that people actually die people they die on their way um we also do have Lawrence Fishburne in the movie like he's in that movie like almost that much well mm, like that much he's a little, a little bit longer this one was just it was okay for what it was i mean liam neeson this is just kind of the movie that he that he does these days you know when it comes to him bruce willis we really don't get a plus action movies anymore um but if you do have to choose between the both i would personally say pick liam's movies they at least have better acting for the most part and it's a little bit better bruce's are just kind of like just they're just trash but basically we are in a rescue mission trying to get to these miners who you know got collapsed in a cave and their oxygen is about to run out they're trying to go to canada and they have to go through this like ice road it's honestly the majority of the movie is just seeing us kind of towing the 18 wheelers picking up the 18 wheelers just kind of doing a lot of things with the with the trucks so if you want to see that you'll probably enjoy the movie let's go to another netflix movie america the motion picture um this is an animated movie but this is one of those animated uh movies that is made for adults not for the kids um it does have like a big cast and go ahead and read these to you we have shannon tatum he plays george washington um bobby uh monaghan monaghan he plays paul revere we have judy greer as martha washington simon Pegg as king james jason matazokas I don't even know how to say that. Sam Adams. We have Olivia Munn who plays Thomas Edison. Andy Samberg as Benedict Arnold. And Will Forte as Abe Lincoln. So this is just like like a joke basically about the British and the Americans. And we have like all these historical people. Ancient modern day things like Uber and Tom Ford. That obviously has nothing to do with the American Revolution. And it's just absolutely insane. But it was it was fun enough. I mean I guess at the end it was an okay movie. It does have a lot of explosions, fighting, gun violence, sex. But we're gonna go ahead and move on to F9, the ninth installment in the Fast and the Furious franchise. The tenth overall if you do count Hobbs and Shaw. This was a bad movie. I hated it. It was so stupid. I didn't like it at all. Kudos for those of you who enjoyed it. Um, I do want to say I absolutely love the Fast and the Furious franchise. I know how ridiculous this franchise is in case you're trying to come at me, Will. Stephanie, hello. This is what the damn 
franchise is. Yes, I know it is. I mean, it's just something that where they just throw everything that everybody wanted into this movie. They're like, oh, you want to go to space? Okay, we're going to go to space. You want Han back? Here comes Han. After how many years have we known this family and never any mention of a brother? Yet this man is, you know, all about familia, but where the hell is your brother at that we absolutely know nothing about? We have gone from street racers to like spies to invisible people to freaking like superheroes. It's just, it's just absolutely insane. Roman and Tej in space, in a car, in this old ass car, them wearing like some sort of old school submarine outfits. <laughs> I can't believe this. They're apparently eating candy bar in space. They managed to get out of the car in space without them dying. They have the guys from Tokyo Drift sending them to space. Like, nowhere in Tokyo Drift did I ever get that these 30 year olds playing teenagers had any interest in physics. You know, oh yeah, you know, you know, we're going to be astrophysicists, you know. And, I mean, I totally get you to train your brain off for this. I tried, you guys. I really tried. We have Cypher back, but do we really have Cypher back? Because she's really not in the movie. Technically, she's not the main villain. And it's like, why even waste Charlize's time in this movie if the small part that you had her in, like, that's just such a waste of a character. Oh, I know you guys know. Let's keep going. To uh, one of Hulu's movies. I actually haven't had a Hulu uh, movie on here in quite some time. Uh, false Positive. This does star Ilana. Glazer, Elena Glazer, yeah, I know how I am with names, Pierce Bronson, and uh, Justin Theroux, Sophia Bush also has a small part in it. This movie was weird, you guys. It was, it was strange. I don't, I don't know. It's considered a thriller, horror, which I didn't find to be scary at all, because I know how I am with scary movies. I honestly went to this movie knowing absolutely nothing at all. I, this is another one that I never saw a trailer. I was trying to figure out what movies are coming out this month to kind of see what I was going to watch within the month. I was like, okay, we're going to check this one out. So from the title, False Positive, I just assumed that Lucy, you know, was going to think that she was pregnant. It could be one of those like ghost fantasy pregnancies where she would have all the symptoms where her belly would grow and then at the end it was like, oh shit, you really have no baby. No, this bitch really is pregnant, you guys. There's a bunch of conspiracy going on with the doctor. There's some shady stuff. The nurses at this uh, doctor's office are really dressed like old school. Kind of think like Nurse Ratchet, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. She's really like old school kind of nurse type deals. Very strange stuff happening i don't even know how to explain it without giving you guys all the spoilers i'm just gonna put it under you tried is that okay no it was just you tried i will tell you guys how it ends though i won't tell you how we get to that part <laughs> it's just, just thinking about saying it out loud it just makes me laugh so lucy ends up having her little fetus dead baby in her hands because things that happened prior to this she like loses her shit and then you know she goes and sits down with her little dead fetus right she's all bloody baby is dead bloody whatever and like starts to breastfeed this child she's literally lost her damn mind and she literally sees the little baby like oh, like like if it's moving it's weird last on my list is gonna be the hitman's wife's bodyguard this is of course the sequel to the hitman's bodyguard which stars samuel l jackson ryan reynolds Salma hayek and we get antonio banderas in this part here antonio plays a very very i don't know i don't like his character he's the villain here but i didn't i wasn't here i was not jiggy with his character i personally did prefer the sequel over the first one i thought it was more fun but it is a really fun summer uh, action-packed movie with some uh comedy uh in there of course well i got a lot of comedy in there because obviously we have ryan reynolds playing like ryan reynolds we have samuel jackson playing samuel jackson um sama hayek is like the only one that's like really not playing herself i i think it's a really good movie i really enjoyed it to be honest with you um again it's a really really fun summer movie but yeah these are the movies that i saw this month in my kind of quick 
thoughts on it of course as always uh, the few movies that i do have a review on you can find those down below don't forget to tell me what you guys saw this month did we happen to watch any of the same things if we did do you agree with my ranking if you don't that is totally fine everybody has their opinion but before you click out of this video of course don't forget to give it a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new until next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye.